Young readers get a break from a local library. Boy Library is forgiving all late fees for young and young adult materials. Ari Bruckman learned more about the decision. Ari Library administrators say this comes down to more than just dollars and cents. Yeah, Eric and Mimi, while saving money on fines and fees aids families facing financial difficulty, one library official tells me the bigger picture here is about encouraging families to come back to the library. It's really the key to a community's success having kids and families who are able to read. This week is National Library Week. As a result, Beloit Public Library has eliminated fines on all youth and young adult materials. Amy Mitchell hopes this encourages families worried about the money. Before fine free, families would be charged 10 cents to 25 cents per day each day that those items would be late and up to five dollars each. And so if you can imagine, if they have a bag full, that could add up. During the pandemic, Mitchell has seen an uptick in college students utilize the library. Alondra Terry is one of those students. As a fifth year senior in the nursing program at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, she has relied heavily on the library as a resource. It's kind of hard to like stay focused and um, keep going at it at home, especially with all the distractions. So it's really big to clear all the distractions coming here. It's quiet and I can get a lot more done than I can at home. Mitchell emphasizes the importance of kids coming to the library in person and says there's something magical about holding a book. It has a certain smell, it has a certain feel, and it, it does teach kids something that a, a digital book wouldn't in terms of how you turn the page, how you hold the page. There are a lot of different things about that that are pretty unique. 